Hey, what's up you guys? It's Troy Sivan. Today I thought I would do another Ask Troy. Basically the way this works is first of all you guys follow me on Twitter, links will be in the down bar, and then you send in questions under the hashtag Ask Troy, and I do my best to answer them. So, let's hop to it, shall we? Woo! Don't you just love it when your voice breaks in front of 50,000 people? Can I have a hug? Hey, where would you most like to go and why? Love you, XX. I would most like to go to Europe because there's a lot of you over there and I just, I've only ever been to London for like two days and I just don't really, really, really go and it seems like such a cool place and oh my god, I'm really, really, really. What's your most embarrassing moment? My most embarrassing moment is far too embarrassing to say on the internet. Like, dig a hole, take an embarrassing moment because now it's a physical thing apparently. Put it down there, cover it with dirt, bury it, put it away, never to be seen again. That kind of embarrassing, so... No, sorry. Underwear colour? I keep it classy and just go with black. Do you ever stalk anyone? Great question! This is a little embarrassing. I know that a lot of people say that they will stalk re-bloggers on Tumblr or whatever. I genuinely do. I, if, so, if, if I see blah 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 followed you or blah 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 re -blog your video, I will some of the time click on their profile and scroll for hours. If there's endless scrolling it just makes it that much more satisfying. Mm. How many times have you wished you were a member of One Direction? Don't lie to me, boy. As many times as there are grains of sand on the beach. What happened with that mischievous mosquito in the end? You guys, I have a story for you. I was very, very tired, but I ended up going to bed only very, very late. So I went to bed at around 3.30 in the morning. I'm having a beautiful sleep, and I start to just slowly sort of scratch my arm, and I wake up. I am covered in mosquito bites all over my arms, all over my legs, and then, you know what the worst part is? I hear that little motherfucker come. Like, it sounds like a little mini fucking biting, blood-sucking race car. It's taunting me. It's 4.30 in the morning. I sit there until, like, about 5 o'clock with all the lights on. Then I realize, you know what? They like the lights. So I turn off my big lights. I turn on my little lamp. There he is. At 5 o'clock in the morning, I am frantically running around my room going... But I couldn't kill the bastard, so I ended up taking refuge in safer lands, aka my little brother's bedroom. I lie down, give him a little kiss on the forehead, decide that I'm gonna go to sleep, close my eyes, and then this happened. There was crows outside my little brother's bedroom making love or something of that disgusting nature. At this point, I go outside, take a broomstick, and I'm screaming at them. Piss off! <laughs> Throw the broomstick. These motherfuckers aren't scared. They're not scared at all. And they decided to carry on, you know, doing their scream of doom or love making or whatever it was that they were up to. And I decided to go back to bed, and eventually they stopped, and then I went to sleep. And that, earlier that day, I got a bee sting. So. Mother Nature, I just love you so much right now. If you could be a girl for a day, what would you do? Will you come to Melbourne during the holidays, maybe? I actually am coming to Melbourne. I'm coming to Melbourne like next week. Tweet me if you're in Melbourne and just let me know. Maybe there's more trouble makers there than I thought. The Wanted or One Direction? A very good and very relevant question. Did you guys see the Twitter feud between them? It is crazy and hilarious. Go look at their Twitter feeds. But I have to say that Sass Queen Zane and Sass King Louis, aka Zooey, Owned, so One Direction. Dear Atro Sivan 18, can you say I love you nanny in the cutest way possible, please? I love you nanny. <laughs> and finally, is there anything that you go absolutely mental over? Tumblr stuff. I don't think you understand. My mental health depends solely on your website running smoothly. So if Tumblr goes down again, I will not hesitate to kill a bitch. But that is all for this week's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe up above to see more videos. I make videos every single week. So, yeah. I will see you next week.